Hi Pam Babe, welcome back to another video with Little Pen Girl. Today I'm showing you this really cool fountain pen. It's called the Kako Retro. It came in a plastic box, kind of like the book that the Twisby fountain pen came out of, but I can't find it right now. This pen is made out of plastic. And it's very smooth and shiny. This one is a greeny blue turquoise, turquoise color. Or you can just say turquoise. On the end of the cap, it has a little orange ball. I don't think it really blends with the colors. I think it would blend a bit more if it was like a purple or a pink. Or because I think it would blend more with like the turquoise color. The cap pops off and this is another different kind of nib. It's called a hooded nib. You can hardly see the actual nib but trust me it's in there you can see a little bit out there i don't know if it's steady but it's there and i think it looks really cool because it's you can hardly see it and like you don't know what kind of nib it is and i think it kind of just makes it like a surprise when you take it off and i think that makes it very cool the other feature of this fountain pen and it has a teensy tiny window right there so you can see how much ink is in there if you look really closely you can see there is no ink in here so we're going to be filling that up but we'll do that later in the video this is a cartridge converter pen as you can see there is a little cartridge converter and the ink bottle is lamy turquoise it has a little tissue that's actually called blotting paper. So what you do, instead of having the towel and sit that we usually use, we can use these plotting paper to wipe down the nib. And that's what we are going to be doing in this video. Now I'm going to ink it. And now this one is kind of hard and scary to do because, like, you know, you don't want to wipe it. But we do have the plotting paper, so that's good. You put in the and then push it back up. And we got quite a bit today, so that's good. Instead of wiping it down like we would usually, we're gonna grab a piece of the plotting paper. Put that piece up first. Grab a piece of the plotting paper. I'm gonna grab the pen and I'm gonna, I think you just wipe it down. And it doesn't work that well, as you can see. So I'm gonna get my towel and just wipe it down like that. And people that made this um, ink, I'm sorry, but your your paper towels don't work that well. <laughs> I was screwing the lid on. <clears throat> now let's put on the actual part. The, the actual part that was supposed to end. Now we're going to put this to the side for now. For now. I'm going to write. Now I'm going to write. writing with it because you have to point the pen down when you write so it's a bit hard to but now instead of an ink swatch that I use like yeah I'm gonna do an ink splat so as I said for now we're gonna click this away but we're gonna do it in this page instead of that page because we don't want to get it all over my writing we're just gonna move the paper over so you can see very pretty I'm using that pipette to do it and i'm gonna put that ink and you can always put well, i'm gonna put about four or three in the on the page and it's gonna be an ink black Ooh, it did go a little bit wrong but that's okay because that's it looking really cool there you go that's an ink splat called amazingness and now in our videos, we might do three things. This, 
writing sample and um well four things this writing sample of uh, filling up a pen and ink swatches so mm, being for a treat this is very fun so i'm kind of addicted now i'm addicted yeah it's addictive now let's just check if you're bleeded because I'm scared that it. I'm gonna be very careful. It did a little, but that's okay, and it did get a bit on the other page, but that's okay. <laughs> Thank you for watching. Bye.